Hey there, fellow warriors. Welcome to another legendary episode from YouTube channel Thane Thrand. I break through the walls that they build in my mind. I see you won't go where the The rebel inside is the power I let it go out of control. Hey, I'm Thrand here. And uh, we're back with the Bronze Age Spear. And upon special request by uh, Demo Man Chaos, which is a good friend of ours, uh, we've done some crossover videos, talked with him and stuff. Uh, he wanted to see an underarm technique, kind of like an underarm slide, but a uh, uh, where we draw way back, but put everything we got into it and try to drive it through the target. It's a lot like the overarm slide, but it's a little different because what we end up doing is come under. But it's still different than that. I, I, I kind of, it's very difficult to do for me, but I'll try my best. And uh, it's, it's real extreme. You have to draw way back. For one thing, I don't know how well it would work in an actual tight uh, phalanx formation, because I mean, you have to really draw back. And we see drawings and stuff with people with spears like this and their aspis are, are, are drawn way back. It looks like they're holding them like this, behind the shield even. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be this kind of thing, almost like a, uh, more like a pull stick or something kind of motion, like swinging underarm. But we'll see what we can do with it. So, let's get started, and we're going to try that on the hood again. Ah! And, as uh, Demo Man Chaos had assumed, we got a pretty nice hole, didn't we? Well, that is very difficult to do, and it takes a full range of motion. All right, I'd like to explain the motion. Uh, the one that everybody keeps talking about out of Christopher Matthew's book, which I don't want to put down Christopher Matthew so much, is just that it's over the top of the aspis, however you hold your aspis. But it's over the top, and you have to open up pretty much you're drawing it, you can draw it way back or have it just clutched under the arm. But he's seeing it as a thrust with the body and the hip and just boom, you know? And you might have to open your shield up to do it, which I don't picture them actually doing that. And the shield would be in the way, even if you try to come up, you lose more and more power as the arm comes up here. So that's just to explain that one. This one that I just did is more like the overarm slide that I'm doing. I'm bringing it way back and I'm finding a balance in the spear. You cannot do this if it's off balance at all. It would be very difficult to do even if the spear's balanced here, way back here. It's very difficult. And it takes up so much room under like this, I see as a single combat technique. I mean, if I'm drawing it way back and trying to come under like this and hide it behind my shield possibly, this is a totally different motion. This is me like throwing this out there. I can even get more reach and let it slide just like I do with the overarm slide. It is a throw, not a, uh, I don't know if y'all can t tell what I'm trying to say. I'm just doing this very lightly. But that is a throw. And it's the same thing. You're trying to throw underarm. Throwing underarm is a lot more difficult than throwing overarm. Anybody can tell you this because of mechanics. And yes, if I were to have my arm straight out and throw like I was throwing a javelin, I could possibly get even more power. But the problem is you get this weird arcing motion. And uh, we've seen holes in top of helmets like that. Who knows? Somebody might have got carried away and tried to do it that way and throw it directly into the guy that way from above, directly in the top of the helmet, which we see holes like this. They say they were axes or something else, but I mean, it makes sense to me that they could have thrown power and like that, drove it over a shield and the top of somebody's helmet, depending on how thick it is. But I'm just talking about ranges of motion. And this one, as you can clearly see, has a lot more range of motion that the spear goes through and a throwing motion than if I were to take it like this and just bloop, bloop. This is just my shoulder and my body and that's it. No matter what I do with it or how I twist it. And if I try to come over, I lose power trying to come over like that. It's just kind of awkward. So just my explanation, uh, this is a underarm slide is what I consider. It's just like my overarm slide for bringing it way back and straight out. Oh! 
And that was a throw, not hitting the same spot, because a lot of people had said that we hit the same spot and it wasn't that impressive. But a full out throw is even more devastating. That wasn't hitting next to, right next to a hole, is more devastating than the upper arm or underarm slide, but it's because there's no control. You're not controlling it. You're just giving full force and full acceleration. But I love the spear, it's so versatile. I mean, you can do the throw over arm in all different ways. You could come in close with it. And if you overextend and you're pulling it back, what would you do? Could you parry with the top part? There's so many things you could do. Just flip it over if you have a butt spike like a Serrata. And at the same time, you're able to reverse it. Ah, oh, that's another video. We'll come back later on that one. Sorry, guys. See you all later. Farvel.